Hi, I'm Ashley Ahrens. I'm the Client Services Director here at the Rocky Mountain Victim Law Center. Thanks for tuning in to our new video series all about current events and victims' rights, both here in Colorado and across the country. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about both a privacy ruling out of New Hampshire and um, the recent election where three new states added victims' rights amendments. So first, to talk a little bit about New Hampshire, um, on Tuesday, December 13th, the State Supreme Court of New Hampshire made a ruling on privacy issues in the People v. Magsaglia homicide case. Um, Lizzie Marriott was a homicide victim in 2012, and she was murdered by Seth Mazzaglia, who's now serving the sentence for that crime. Um, recently, the State Supreme Court heard an appeal from the defense that had the victim's privacy been breached, so if the defense had been allowed to bring in recent records, um, or past records, excuse me, related to the victim's sexual history, that the jury would not have found him guilty on some or all of the charges in the case. Um, initially, the state Supreme Court ruled that a judge um, could take a look at the records in advance of the appeal and in advance of oral arguments on the defense. Um, so they'd be opened under seal, only that judge would be able to look at them and then they could make a determination. However, at the time, on December 13th, at the time of the actual um, decision, the state Supreme Court denied that appeal and the case is not going to be retried. So this is important because throughout this entire case, um, or throughout the entire appeal, both the Attorney General and also the Victims Council has have argued that this isn't relevant information, that every time an individual consents to sex, it's a new instance. Um, it's not related to past consent or past sexual history and that we need to do that and the state Supreme Court of New Hampshire upheld that ruling. Uh, and so that's a really big victory for victims' privacy. RMVLC feels that that's a huge victory as well and we continue to be vigilant for issues like that here in Colorado. And so we feel um, that should you know of any cases like that or if we hear them, we'll make sure to bring them to you um, and we're always looking for cases like that to help support victims. So moving on to um, off the East Coast and over into the Midwest uh, and out West. So North Dakota, South Dakota, and Montana um, all added a victim's rights amendment to their constitution during the November 8th general election. And this is really exciting because out of those three states, 60 to 66% of voters voted in favor of these amendments, which is a huge margin. Um, as we know, many political issues are contentious, but here it seems that it, a large majority of voters are interested in protecting and enhancing the rights of victims. Um, through a constitutional amendment. And so these states now help support victims have the right to be notified, um, make sure that they have the right to be heard at certain critical stages, and that they're entitled to a swift um, resolution to their case. And so we continue to support and are excited about the work happening in other states, um, just like it's happening here in Colorado, to always enhance and support victims' rights. Uh, finally, just to let you know if you're interested in more videos like this, you can look forward to an upcoming video about recent uh, hate crime and mo bias motivated crimes here in Colorado. Um, but if you're interested in any videos that we put out in the near future, please make sure to su subscribe to our Facebook and our YouTube channel. Uh, and thanks so much. And we look forward to presenting more videos to you in the future. Have a good day.